In my last video, I built an improved version of my EDF afterburner. In this video, I designed and built a simple concept of a ramjet EDF inspired by my previous design. The previous afterburner had a fuel ring in the center of the thrust tube, which allowed airflow around the outside of the ring. I found this design to be inefficient in the area allowed for airflow. I solved this by moving the ring to the inner wall of the combustion chamber. To increase the internal pressure, I added an aero spike. The idea is to simulate high air speeds inside the chamber by increasing the pressure. I'll explain later why this is not a very effective method. The temperature in this thrust tube can reach well over 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, so using any 3D printable plastic was not an option. I decided to use the fireplace mortar and carbon fiber method. I 3D printed press molds that would form the shapes I needed for the chamber. To form the parts, I would just smear on the fireplace mortar on a piece of carbon fiber cloth, and then I would put another piece over that to sandwich it in between, and then I'd stick it on the mold, and then I'd just press it together and let it sit for about six hours. When they were fully cured, they looked quite good. The biggest problem though was they were very brittle, so I had to be careful when I was trimming them not to accidentally bend them and break them. Uh, I noticed there were a few weak points on these parts, mainly the edges. The carbon fiber cloth was fraying just a little bit, so I decided I'd coat all the edges in more fireplace mortar and fill up any gaps that were showing through. I also did this on every single part. For the fuel tube, I just bent brass tube into a, a circle and drilled five holes into it. For the assembly of the thrust tube, I used two identical sides made from carbon fiber, the fuel ring, and the flame protector, which is just a bent aluminum circle. To attach both sides, I used more carbon fiber cloth and mortar to fill in the seams so the edges would be smooth. I did this on both sides, and I did this on the aero spike. Okay, so after letting it dry for uh, quite a few hours, um, and I did both sides, I cleaned it up a little. It's not perfect, but it's the best I'll get it without adding too much weight to the other side. And it's a pretty uh, decent circle um, with the hole. Okay. And it still fits in the original mold. Um, so it's not, it hasn't added too much thickness, but I just folded over the the added pieces to make it a little more smooth. I may have to sand down the middle. Um, so if I try to put the actual unit in, it's a little, yeah, it's a little tight. So I think I'll have to sand it down um, and it should be good to go. I just need to add the ignition. So the electric lighter, I'll just have two little pins right in front of one of the nozzles, uh, the gas flow, and it should be good to go. Okay, so I have the ignition attached. Um, I ran into a few problems because carbon fiber is actually quite conductive uh, and I completely forgot about that. I was having problems, so I had to insulate the pins uh, as much as I could, but it's not perfect. Uh, it should last a few tests and then I can probably uh, make a better way of uh, insulating them, but for now it should be fine. So I'm gonna attach the actual motor and we will do the first test.
The reason I said earlier that the aerospike isn't effective is because the fuel mixture doesn't take place at the highest pressure of the aerospike, but instead the lowest. In this diagram of a ramjet, you can see how the aerospike is aligned with the fuel intake. The biggest problem I'm facing is pressure. To achieve the required pressure, I need mock speeds inside the combustion chamber. This is basically impossible with commercial RC parts. I calculated a required RPM of 90,000 to achieve a supersonic tip speed for an EDF with a diameter of 70 millimeters. Nothing like that exists at the moment, but I will be searching for solutions to overcome the pressure problem. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video, and if you want to help me out, you become a patron in the links below. Thanks for watching.